Hello. I am Reverend Douglas Taylor. I serve the Unitarian Universalist Congregation in Binghamton, New York, and I welcome you to an online series, Digging Deeper with Reverend Douglas. In each segment, I will respond to a question that has come from a member of the congregation or perhaps from a regular participant to this program. Questions can be spiritual, theological, pastoral, or ecclesiastical in nature. Feel free to submit your question to me at dtaylor at uubinghamton.org. Today's question, what is spirituality? Well, this is one of those things that has all kinds of different definitions, isn't it? Uh, if you ask a Buddhist about spirituality, you will hear something about sitting in meditative practice. If you talk to a Catholic, perhaps you'll find uh, some information about praying the rosary. And if you talk to a Muslim, you'll hear about the five pillars, uh, fasting and giving to charity. Maybe you'll hear from somebody else about walking a labyrinth. So if you ask a Unitarian Universalist, what is spirituality, you'll get that kind of answer of, well, there's lots of different ways that spirituality shows up in our lives and can, can be evidenced. Um, here's my working definition. Spirituality is the uh, personal way, the individual way in which we relate and respond to, to God, to spirit to earth to our deepest principles to the calling that we feel within ourselves to become better people it's it, what it is i think is a deeper theological question but the spirituality is about how we connect to that how we respond and relate to the holy uh different people often will um approach it from a perspective of it's all about being silent so spirituality is whatever keeps you calm and grounded. And there's an element to that. But you know what? There's also a form of spirituality that's very ecstatic, that's singing praise music and uh, it is, has a feeling of being transported to a higher realm. There's also an element in which uh, activists can be pursuing what they're doing for spiritual connections. You know, you, you have that image of people from the civil rights movement kneeling in prayer before going out on the march. It's that sense in which what they're doing is connecting to and relating and responding to that which is ultimate in their lives. And so that can lead you to um, a deep study of the world that can lead you to be a scientist that can lead you to be an activist uh it's how you're doing it you know like you might say that you've become you know a, a health nut and a, and a and a vegetarian for health reasons or for spiritual reasons you know i mean it's it's one of those ways in which what makes it spiritual is how you're doing it it's a, all about the connection that you're making to the holy. It's not a definitive thing of practices. It's how you do a practice that makes it spiritual. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been Digging Deeper with Douglas.